Well, here we are again, folks. And um, if you've already heard, then uh, then you know some of what's been going on as far as uh, provincial government and now reinstating uh, mandatory restrictions for a lot of just daily life uh, for all of us. And uh, once again, that includes Sunday morning church service. So, you know, of course, I'm uh, I'm pretty uh, sad, uh, frustrated for, you know, just again, feels like a step backwards, but all the numbers have been going up. And so here we are. We are back to uh, some restrictions that we've seen before uh, for Sunday morning. Uh, so here's just a quick uh, a quick update and, and a couple of thoughts from my heart to yours. Uh, so really quick, uh, Sunday mornings is one third of our capacity. So for us, that's about 70 people. And that does not include staff, uh, our greeters, our worship teams. So we have 70 slots uh, available and uh, and masks are mandatory once again for church services and um, and social distancing between households uh, if you happen to live at home then if you have two people again this is kind of still familiar from what it has been before uh, so nothing new in terms of uh, what it looks like uh, but if you live alone and you've got uh, one or two people that you consider close or your cohort people uh, you can be uh, non-distanced from uh, from those people as though they were family. But uh, but for those of you who are families, uh, there is required distancing between uh, households and families uh, for Sunday morning. So um, we're not going to uh, put up the uh, the tape and the cones again. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to ask if you are coming to church on Sunday that you do two things. Uh, first, that you call the church office and sign up for a spot. Uh, it is Wednesday evening, so you know there's not a ton of time between now and Sunday morning. So if you could give us a heads up that you plan on coming, we will write your name down. And this Sunday morning, we will have a sheet ready for you to sign up for next Sunday. Uh, because it's one-third, we're not going to multiple services. Uh, we're still going to stay at one service every Sunday morning at the same time, 10.30. And uh, we're just asking that you sign up for, for your spot uh, in order to be able to come. Um, Walk-ins, uh, unfortunately now, uh, at least for this Sunday, because we don't know how many people are going to want to sign up or want to come, some may want to stay at home and tune in online. Uh, others may want to come in person. Uh, and that's we leave that choice for you guys. But we are asking if you do come to please let us know. So we're not going to be allowing for walk-ins on Sunday just just because we, we don't know how many people to anticipate at this time. So if you could do us a favor and please um, contact friends, family, um, co-workers, anybody that you know of who's in your circle of, uh, of friends and, and uh, people that you know, please let them know not everybody's on social media and even those who are may not get this update right away. So if you could even just do a quick text around to people that you know, and just let them know what's happening. If they already know, then it's just repeating the same information and that's okay. But if they don't know, then uh, then, you, then you'll then you be helping us out tremendously in getting the word out to all of our people. So uh, so that's the first thing is to please sign up. And, uh, and the second thing uh, is to, um, if you're gonna be coming, uh, then please, uh, please bring a mask. We do have masks at the church still. Uh, so you can use uh, any of the masks that we have uh, still at the church there, and um, and we're going to we're going to have to figure out a way to make this work together. Uh, I don't have any idea how long this is going to last. And again, what we're being told is just because uh, the hospitalizations and the cases are going up, uh, they're spiking again, just as they did earlier this year. And so we're going to walk through this together. Um, if I'm completely honest, I'm I'm pretty deflated and defeated. Um, not permanently. That's just my that's my reaction in this moment. Um, but it is evening time, and I'm going to spend some time praying tonight and tomorrow morning. Uh, I know that God is going to get us through. This is not. Um, uh, it's nothing new for us. Um, it does feel um, disheartening because it, again, it feels like a step backwards, like it has been before. Um, but we're going to do our part. And, uh, and I, I want to make sure that, that we have the right frame of mind as we, as we go back into this, this restrictive uh, season again. 
Um, if you need anything from us, uh, even if you just need to talk or to vent or if you need prayer, um, we may not be able to gather in person the way we were hoping to over the next however many weeks. Um, but we can FaceTime, we can have phone calls, um, we can uh, we can figure out ways to, to stay connected. So uh, thank you to everybody uh, for listening. And um, we're going to hopefully see you on Sunday. Uh, if not, please uh, please contact us if you want us to pray for you um, or to uh, or to just chat. So let's uh, let's kind of hold our hands together again on this, and we are going to make it through. Jesus knows what He's doing. He's a great uh, He's a great King, and He's a great Shepherd. So even though I feel defeated, I'm still hopeful uh, because the same Spirit that he sent on his first disciples on the day of Pentecost, that same spirit that brings uh, power, that brings passion, that brings energy, that brings joy, uh, that brings peace, that brings wisdom. That same spirit who rested on those first disciples is the same spirit that lives in you and in me. And, uh, and I'm gonna lean heavily on Jesus just to, uh, just to process what this means. And uh, I'm hopeful because he is always doing um, he's always doing something, even if it's confusing, even if we're not quite sure of what it is yet. Um, hold on. Hold on with me, and let's hold on to Jesus together. So I'm going to be praying for all of you, praying for our staff, and I invite you to pray for us too. Um, again, we're kind of readapting uh, what it means to lead and to shepherd and to love our people. So even though we've done it before, it is a step backwards again, but we're going to do everything that we can. And again, so if you need us, please reach out and contact us and we'll find a way to, uh, to keep loving and praying for you and supporting you. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. And if there's anything else to, to let you know of between now and Sunday, I will uh, send out another update. Uh, otherwise, hopefully we'll be able to see you on Sunday morning or sometime soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.